Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation and another review and this time on Canadian Maker Venus Pads ran by a lovely lady called Christine um, as you can tell another favourite maker of mine um, and I have quite a collection um, this is another one that I have actually de-stashed to family and friends as well um, because when you find a maker this good you do want to share them around so we're going to go over these in kind of two sets because there are three different fabric toppers used here um, the core and the core and the back are generally the same but the top is here so let's deal with these five um, you probably will know from some of my other um, videos that these two um, are my favorite um, one of the ones that I de-stashed was this exact same shape but it had like Mardi Gras beads on it and so I'm going to drink um, it's very hot here actually technically I possibly should not be drinking rhubarb gin but irrelevant I am drinking rhubarb gin and it's hot while I'm doing these reviews so these two um, are in a particular shape and I did have another pad of this shape um, that was Mardi Gras beads you can tell by the color fade difference which one that I've had the longest and which one is the newest um, this print the actual print is a delight um, even though it's not one of my uh, favorite Disney movies but um, the prints just really really delightful um, and just kind of suits this pattern really and um, so I but this pattern had been used in this before but sometimes this was like up here or this was like down here or just in different places across the pad but I do enjoy it when it's in the center of the pad um, because then you get these kind of lovely blue and red fade outs which just make it look really really adorable so the print on, in the print on this pattern looks really really good even though you can tell by the fade which pad that I've had the longest and um, which pad is the new one the stitching is still amazing um, and holding very well much together there's even though this is a blue pad um, which has a propensity to stain uh, you can see no staining on this one here um, it is a pad I regularly wear um, and most of the time I'm trying to resist wearing both of them on a cycle so these are the mermaid ones um, I've got this cute little space dog one um, and in a little dog shape um, Venus pads it does have quite a few shaped pads um, shaped pads are really really excellent I have actually done a video on shaped pads um, which I'll possibly link down below or at the end um, shape pads are so much more fun and they give you much more flexibility in uh, the way that you bleed as well so if you have a particular bleeding, bleeding pattern you can get a shape um, made for that so don't shy away from the shapes and uh, don't kind of think just because single use disposable pads are all made in a certain way that those are the pads you necessarily need to stick to when you move across to cloth because cloth actually does give you a lot more variety in what you do as you can see with the pads that I have here so this and this one here is an axe just in case you didn't see that one this is a hedgehog dog mermaid so these are all cotton knit topped they are flannel cord and fleece backed um, and also um, this is her tag in case you haven't noticed that they have a tag um, if you've seen my what I wore this month videos um, I've showed that before um, also she uh, Venus pads is another maker which obviously matches the fleece to the front of the pad um, and giving and it gives it a great consistency in your pad as well because you have this kind of design consistency and this color consistency as well um, which is fantastic so uh, 
again these are all 10 inches by the way they are all cotton knit topped flannel core and fleece backed and they are all moderate um, and of course apart from these two being pretty fantastic um, this one I just found cute to be honest um, and this one I think I've had has been in and out of my D stash pile uh, on several times um, but it always makes it way makes its way back into my box and so I think it's just wanting to stay so it stays here and hedgehogs are pretty hilarious animals um, even though they're, they're pretty cute I mean my favorite they're not Australian though so my favorite Australian am, animal is a wombat um, and hedgehogs are non-Australian but um, this axe one which obviously is covered with um, blood spatter um, okay the next group is this one here um, you will have seen this this one here this booby dog which um, on several occasions because I wear that and this rainbow bear um, I think I got this black one first I'm not actually necessarily a big fan of black pads um, in general um, because it, it doesn't show you the rate of flow and it doesn't show you the distribution of where your blood's going um, generally sometimes I can be you know light or gushy or heavy so I like to see where my blood distribution is on a pad so then I can adjust uh, the length and the style and the of the pad that I put on next or after that or I need to actually adjust it um, so black pads don't tend to show that up as well um, but this was again too cute to not to resist so these are both dogs or oh, these are both I think they're called cats this is a silver cat and a black cat um, I like them they're kind of like the mermaids and a matching set this is a Poseidon I did have another Poseidon print that I de-stashed um, I think I wasn't a big fan of the print which is why it ended up going sometimes I see the print um, and I pick primarily on the print at this point um, especially when I know they're a good maker so I know say for argument's sake with Venus pads I know I'm going to get high quality so I'll pick on the fact that I like the print or that the print's really good um, and so I think I picked it because I did like it on the screen and then when I got it I didn't end up wearing it so I did end up de-stashing that one as well um, but the kind of vibrant purple um, works and it has stuck around these are all crushed, crushed velvet topped um, they are also a flannel cord and of course um, the fleece backer as with before is matched to the front of the pad and these all have the venus pads tag and no the venus pads tag is not irritating it's in no way getting in the way and it doesn't annoy you just in case that's what you want to know this is one that i've had for a very long time it's probably one of the earliest ones that i've ordered um, along with my venus pads one so um, this one does tend to collect a lot of fabric as you can tell it gets quite uh, fluffy so it's not even it, that it gets pilly it's just it's just fluffy it just attracts everything um, it is more probably thinner than some of the other um, so it has kind of thinned out say in comparison to the other crushed velvet ones that I have um, and this one here you can see is collecting a bit of um, you know debris from the washing machine once I throw them through so again this is the next collection oh these are all 10 inches as well um, oh except for this one this one here is a 12 inch um, and the rest of these here are 10 inches um, so this last one here is a um, 12.5 inch it is hand dyed organic bamboo velour and of course flannel core and fleece bat um, this one has also a different um, wing um, but she was I think if I remember correctly uh, Venus pads was actually doing a test to hand dye some um, OVV and kind of make things a little bit differently so um, but as you can see she has quite a lot um, of shapes and variety in her 
um, pads so um, I, I'm not surprised that she's trying kind of different things um, and making up new styles and patterns so this is it of course Venus pads it's another maker I very highly recommend it's another maker in my top five um, she is amazing um, very excellent customer service I'm in Australia and she is in I believe Quebec that's the French speaking part of Canada I hope but either way they get here in like three weeks I think so the shipping's not as bad as what I would think um, so it still it takes a couple of weeks but it still gets here um, her customer service is amazing none of this stitching has um, come out or pulled out um, it is definitely quality pads um, I will link her um, um, I, I will link her she does have an Instagram page I'm not sure about, about Facebook because obviously I'm not on Facebook um, but I will also link her Etsy store um, down below so at some point in this end section you will get a link to last year's review of Venus pads you will also um, get a box with the subscribe button so please do that if you would like you will also get a link to the playlist of all the reviews that I've done on cloth pads over the past I think 14 months 13 months so I reviewed a lot of these pads last December I'm um, in December 2018 these reviews are being done in December 2019 um, and I'm pretty much well doing them as I'm posting them um, so you're getting a pretty much live December um, this is my only week off <laughs> um, reviews of these pads so any other questions ask them below other than that thanks for watching enjoy your morning afternoon or evening depending on where you are in the day and I will see you all in the next video Bye.